take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths and survey how the body feels from inside. If you find a cool spot inside, focus your attention there. The weather people are forecasting a heat wave this weekend, and so you have to prepare both your body and your mind. To prepare your body, of course, you drink a lot, lots of liquids, get some salt. Find cool places to stay. And as for your mind, you know that when things get hot, on the one hand you're tired, and on the other hand you start getting irritable. So what can you do to make sure that this hazardous weather warning doesn't become a hazardous mind state warning? And the heat in the body, say it's just there in the body, it doesn't have to come in and influence the mind. And even though the body may not have the strength to do the things it normally does, okay, adjust your efforts. Trying to find calmer ways of being, calmer ways of acting. And try to keep your mind under control. This is why we focus on the breath and trying to find a good place in the body, because if the mind has that place in the body where it feels comfortable, where it feels cool, then it's not so likely to get irritable and not so likely to lash out at other people. So for your sake and for the sake of the people around you, you want to look after the weather of your mind. When storms come up in the mind, okay, you can't let them blow out through your words and your deeds. You try to see which aspect was related to the breath energy in the body, and you take care of that aspect first. And then if you have the energy, you turn around and look at the storm. If you don't have the energy, just sit there and watch it abate. And it will. Just make sure you don't get stirred up about how long it takes. You learn how to have some patience. This way your internal weather doesn't cause you to do anything that's unskillful. And as for the external weather, that's pretty much under your control. You can make compensations for it, but remember, okay, your body is under extra stress right now, so don't you put too much stress on it. And find ways of channeling your right efforts into the efforts of the mind. Because it doesn't make you hot to abandon unskillful qualities or to develop skillful qualities. It doesn't have to wear the body out. That's something that can be purely a mental effort. And that doesn't have to depend on the heat outside or the cold outside or any outside factors at all. 